Thanks for clicking play. I'm Marcus Fadis. You're watching On Air, filmed here at the beautiful Postmodern Studios in Irvine, Cali. Not the West Side, dude. Come on, dude. I gotta throw it up. No. Snoop Dogg does it like this, but I do it like this. So it's a little... Yeah. Thanks, Jim. Jim's a motivational speaker on the weekends. Really appreciate it. Uh, so our next guest today is this really cool guy. Uh, he is a creative director and vice president of Rikus Baird Advertising in Orange County. Uh, he's worked on brands such as Avis, British Airways, Ford, Panasonic, and Jim Beam, just to name a few. Uh, not only that, before Rikus Baird, this guy's worked all over the world. Uh, New Zealand, Singapore, London, LA. Uh, he's been here for the last seven years, winning awards. Let's get into it. You and Pigeon, everybody. You and Pigeon. Hey, Marcus. Thanks for coming on board, man. I really appreciate it. Okay. So, uh, Rikus Baird. Rikus Baird. A lot of people pronounce it Righteous Baird. We, we get all sorts of pronunciations, yeah. Yeah. But it's uh, Rikus Baird. Rikus Baird. And you're not an ad agency. No, we're a brand development firm. A brand development firm. Um, which advertising is just one part of that. But um, we specialize in business to business mm -hmm. branding. So it's. Um, it's taking the brand strategy right through to execution, and there's, uh, there's not many firms do that. Tell me a little bit about B2B. A, a, a lot of people know what business to business is, but they don't quite know what an agency does as far as the difference between uh, business to business and consumer advertising. So I know what it is because I'm brilliant, right. but these guys, the sheep, we need to explain um. it for them. Well, I'll say in the, the context of one of our clients, we do a lot of work with, with Toyota, mm -hmm. um, uh, the D Toyota Industrial Equipment Division, uh, which is primarily lift trucks. So we are, we are marketing those lift trucks um, through the dealers to the, the end user. The, the relationship's a bit more complex than if you were, say, selling a car. So we're not just talking to the, the guy who drives the lift truck. He, he could be part of the decision making, but he may be a fleet manager be a warehouse manager so you're talking you're talking you're telling Toyota how to talk to their dealers uh, we're advising them on how to make sure the dealers are all saying the same sort of thing okay. yeah but it, it has to start it starts a bit earlier than that it starts more with the, um, it, it, the, the branding has to be aligned with the the business strategy so everything's got to be all locked into place mm -hmm. for it to work successfully so give me um, Give me a little rundown of how you would you would head into a campaign. Like it's not a typical campaign, or I mean, is it is it the same elements that a typical campaign, a consumer campaign, would have? Um, it could be. It just your audience is a lot more a lot more targeted. We're in trade publications. We're um, the, the equivalent online. The uh, it might be a an internet. The dealers all work off. We might be supplying them with materials so the dealers can put their own advertising and marketing in initiatives together but make sure they're all aligned with the brand values that uh, follow Toyota. And what, one of your your comments here, you said uh, we don't do creative pitches. No. And you don't think any agency should. No. Um, Talk about that. What do you well, we, we, we won't do a, a, a creative pitch on spec. We'll do it, we'll do it if we're paid to do that pitch. But um, the, the one thing that, that agencies and firms like ours still have the one thing that's valuable, the most valuable thing, is the ideas. So, uh, I'm not a. I don't want to be giving that away for nothing. How do you get work then? If you don't do, I mean, do people just see your work and say, "Hey, you know what? These are the guys, and let's go with them." I mean, typically, you know, they they do an R. You know, the RFP goes out to twelve different agencies, um, and we turn down a lot of those. We don't. We don't answer. We, I mean, we, if if we spent all our time answering RFPs, we'd never be able to service our current clients. Yeah. And the, the other thing that that always bothered me about about pitching was the, the agencies they put their best teams on a on a speculative creative pitch Who, who's dealing who's who's working on the stuff back at the office on the your paying clients so give me a little bit of background about you know you say that you guys don't do timesheets no. at your agency so what's a typical workflow how do you guys delegate so rather than charging hourly and billing that way shouldn't we be charging for what an idea is worth, what's the what's the value of say this new corporate ID package? What is the value of that? It's I think put a value on an idea. What it's what it's worth to the uh, to the client, and, and and we've we've looked at doing uh, success related deals. Mm -hmm. You know where we we get paid according to the success of a deal. 
okay. we're, we're open to those sort of arrangements. So if it goes up, if uh, whatever, the incremental... Sure. We're confident that, that we drive business success through our brand That's going to make the uh, client feel pretty good. Right? I mean, that's got to be yeah, a cool thing. It's like, you know, we'll say, hey, we get paid based on the performance of the idea. Sure. Uh, you also made another comment. Uh, OC ad awards are shit. <laughs> Talk about that. I'm very skeptical about the amount of work that's been done primarily for award shows. Right. So they don't do it for the brand. They don't do it for the product. They do it for the award. Yeah, and, and also it's, it's, it's like when, when most people start off in advertising, they, they, don't, quite, they don't quite grasp the the whole target audience thing. They're, they're doing an ad for their mates in the next office to like. I mean, that, that's, that's the reality of a lot of it. Yeah. And it's only when you start to see, okay, we, you, we have to use a different voice, different way to talk to people. People are doing ads to talk to ad juries on occasions. And I don't know if you've ever been on an advertising jury, but it's quite an interesting experience. I have. Like, you know, I've, seen people, I've seen people look at a bit of work and go, oh, that's quite nice. And then turn it over and go, oh, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> it, 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 because who, of who it's from. Because of who's done it has influenced their decision on it. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying it's always like that. Yeah. And we don't, we're, we're very particular about which shows we enter. We, we, we tend to go for the, the B2B. So you show. do enter. We'll enter specific shows. B2B shows. But we don't, uh, the Orange County one, the, the market's maybe a little bit too narrow. Plus, to be fair, the, the categories don't suit us. There's one, there's one print category. So we're going to put, B2B ads up against big consumer campaigns. Yeah. Where, whereas the, the TV categories, is it's there's, there's, there's one for cars, there's one for the food, there's one for this. Yeah. It seems a bit of an imbalance. So we, we enter national shows, national B2B shows, mm -hmm. um, the New York BMA. And you guys have won a lot of awards. Oh, yeah, we do. But they're, they're, they're not, it's, it's, it's like I say, again, it's specialist B2B, which is where we where we belong and where we want to be recognized. And one thing that I've been encouraged with, particularly lately in the B2B shows, is that 25% of the, uh, of the vote is, is, based on, um, is based on the results. It's, it's based on effectiveness. So you do the analytics and say, hey, since, this, not since <laughs> this came out, uh, such and such has jumped up. Right. There has, Eight, to, be, there has, to, there has to be some, some relevance to that work, rather than, you know, here's this wildly wonderful. Yeah, here's a cool looking piece. I mean, how much, how much award winning work is the most effective work? I think we've seen over the years, particularly in say the fast food category, you know that award winning work doesn't, doesn't shift that food. It's, it's the deals and the dollar menus that, mm -hmm. that drive that business. Right. Ewan, thanks a lot for coming down. Pleasure. Really you, appreciate it. Uh, it was a lot of good stuff there. To learn more about uh, Rika Spared, Look down at the bottom of the screen and click the URL. It'll take you to their website. You can uh, read their bios and look at their client work. Uh, it's good stuff. Uh, we will see you next week. Thanks for clicking play. I'm Marcus Vadas, and we're out.